Hello everyone, let's do some Lightroom Classic color grading and turn this cold mountain scene into a warm sunset image. If you want to follow along, you can do this by downloading the raw file from the link in the description of the video. And now let's jump into it. At first you might think this looks pretty good, but actually, since I have used a pretty strong ND filter on the lens right here, the whole image is way too cold. So I want to change that and the first thing we want to do is to go into the lens corrections. So in here, I'm always checking the remove chromatic aberration thing. Next up, I'm also going to enable the profile corrections. And for this shot, it's very important since I'm using a lens which is causing a lot of heavy vignetting. You can see this right here in the corners of the image where it gets super dark and it is kind of distracting. So by checking this box, Lightroom will assign a profile to the image here and thus just reduce the vignetting. Now with this out of the way, we want to do a few basic adjustments. So let's open up the basic panel. First off, I want to change the profile going from Adobe Color to Adobe Landscape. And the reason for me to do that is you can already see the warmer tones get a little more intense. Overall, the colors are more saturated and the darker parts are just slightly brighter. So that is looking great. The next thing what we want to change is the white balance. And that is actually the most important part for this image. Since, as I said, because of the ND filter I used on the lens, the whole image is way too blue and we can fix that with the white balance. So what I want to do is to just bring up the temperature and I'm going to raise it quite a lot. So right about here we have some more natural colors, but I want to go a little higher because I want to have that intense sunset look. So that might be a little too high, but I think right here that's a good spot. Now, before continuing with the color grading, we of course need to do a few other adjustments first, mainly for the exposure. Looking at this again, this is looking decent. Still, I want to bring up the exposure just a bit. And I also want to increase the whites, just introducing some more brightness. That looks great. Right there in the brightest parts, we are losing a bit of detail. That's not what we want. So to fix that, I'm going to bring down the highlights and just try to recover those details. Just like that. And because we're reducing the highlights, we are also losing a bit of contrast. So to fix that, I'm also going to bring down the shadows, just making those darker tones a little more intense. And I can also safely bring down the blacks without risking underexposure, just for some more contrast. So that's looking really good. I want this image to look sharp and clean, so I'm going to bring up the texture quite a bit. I'm not going to touch clarity or dehaze, but I want to bring up the vibrance since, as I said, I want this image to be very well saturated. All right, so here we have the image after just a bunch of base adjustments. Let's compare to before. You can see, we have fixed the cold color cast. We went a little further into the warm range. Some areas still look a little bit strange, so I want to make use of a bit of masking to fix that. So let's go ahead and open up the masking panel. First off, I want to use a linear gradient covering most of the top part of the image without affecting the foreground right there. So I guess I could tweak this mask a little more by clicking on it and let's say subtract. I'm going to choose a luminance range mask and just click right there in the darkest part. So that's looking like a good selection, but we can tweak it some more by just playing around with the luminance range mask. I want to select a little more just to more precisely mask out the foreground. I think this is looking great. Now, what I want to do with this mask is to introduce more contrast to the mountains in the distance. And I'm doing this again by simply dropping the shadows. This will add a lot more punch to this image. Great. I also want to add some contrast. And that's it. What bothers me at this point is the sky. I think I want to introduce some more blue tones to it. Since we have a harsh contrast between the sky and the mountains, we can simply use the select sky mask. What I want to do with this is to just bring down the temperature, introducing some more colder tones to the sky. And at the same time, I want to bring up the saturation to make those blue tones more visible. All right, I think that looks good. 
We could introduce some more contrast here, making the sky darker and thus just adding contrast to this image. Perfect. And finally, I also want to target the foreground right there. So I'm going to use a linear gradient covering the foreground like this. And I'm going to add a luminance range mask, basically doing the same thing like before, trying to select that dark foreground. Again, we need to adjust it slightly. I'm going to cut the upper range so those darker midtones won't be targeted by this mask, just like that. And I could also subtract using a brush, just going over that mountain in the distance right there. Okay, that looks good. And what I want to do here is to again just bring down the temperature since this area is a little bit warm. And right at this point, we do have a very natural look. All right, so we're almost done. Now comes the fun part, however, the color grading. I want to start this in the HSL panel. And let's go into the hue tab first. What I want to do here is to drop the yellow hue. And this will just make the mountain peaks a little more orange. And I'm doing this because I just prefer the more orange color tones on those mountains. I think I can even go a little lower here, just like that. I also want to head into the saturation tab and bring down the green saturation since we have some green tones in here, which do look a bit strange to me. So let's bring that down. All right, great. And then let's do the split toning, which is mainly responsible for that warm look we are aiming for. So I want to start with the highlights. And since we want to create a warm image, I'm going to choose a warm hue for this. So let's see, I want to go somewhere in the orange range again. And we only changed the hue, so nothing has changed yet. But if we bring up the saturation, the image will look different. So let's bring it up. Just like that, wonderful. And I also want to go into the midtones and again choose a warm hue slightly bring up the saturation here. I do want to keep this one rather subtle, but you could of course also go really crazy, pumping up the saturation a lot more. But however, I think that's way too much. So let's bring it down again. Finally, let's head into the calibration tab. We can tweak a few sliders to make those red tones more intense. Also, right now you can see the sky has a little purple color cast. So by bringing down the blue primary hue, we can actually fix that and give the sky a more natural blue tone while also making those red tones in the mountains more intense. So this slider is very helpful. I think that's a good spot right there. I also want to bring up the saturation. I'm going to bring it up quite a bit to make this image very colorful. All right. So for this shot, actually, the calibration settings might have a bigger impact than the split toning. Let's deactivate this setting so you can see the difference from before to after. Colors look way more natural this way, so I'm really happy with this. At this point, we are done with the color grading. One more thing that's left to do is the sharpening in the details tab. And here I'm always using the same settings. I'm starting by bringing down the radius. I'm increasing the details. Um, holding down the alt key and just increase the masking like this. So only the important areas will get sharpened and then just increase the amount of sharpening. And that's it. So here we have the finished image after just a bit of Lightroom color grading. So to recap, the most important parts for this shot were the white balance adjustments just to fix the cold color cast coming from the ND filter, then a little bit of masking, but that was not that impactful for the overall color look. And then we went over the color grading, which had a great impact. And of course, also the calibration settings. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and interesting. And as always, if you have questions left, feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video.